I have a sense that I don't hear the Holy Spirit um, guiding me. When I'm teaching or working, I clearly feel that it speaks through me. It's not that I hear it and then I say it, it just speaks. But it doesn't talk to me. When there's nobody else to who I speak, I don't hear it, I don't get it. And that's what makes me so despaired sometimes and frustrated. So how can I do that? Yeah, it's, it's just through practice. I mean, I felt like in my journey, I, I had a recognition with the Course. There was something inside that just knew that wherever it was pointing, it was pointing to the truth. I could feel that. I mean, I actually had students, when I had students back in the 1990s, that would say things to me like, David, haven't you ever just had a moment when you just thought, what if this is, this book is the biggest hoax ever? <laughs> the most sophisticated hoax or whatever and everything. Haven't you really sincerely thought? And I would just look at them and I would go, what? <laughs> and they would say, well, he certainly must have had a moment. And I'd say, no. <laughs> There was such a strong, strong knowingness that, you know, not that the book was the truth, but that it, it was pointing so directly to the truth. So that's a huge experience right there. And then, I, at the beginning, I did read the book for, as I said, about eight hours a day for two and a half years, because it was like, I was like drifting out in the ocean and somebody threw me a life raft, you know. And I, you better believe I was going to, use that life raft, you know, well, if somebody throws me a life raft and I'm bobbling around out in the middle of the ocean, I'm surely going to use it. So I think that's really the thing is, it is in the practice, it is in the desire, it is in the devotion. We That's what we've been talking about all week. You know, it's, it, it's the power of our joining is, is immense. You know, Jesus said, where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there. I find that that as we join together in this awakening, in this purpose, the ego has no answer. I mean, it's the power of our joining, it's just like this strong energy, strong synergy. And it, I feel it's like a huge momentum. It's more, it's more huge than like a giant tsunami, it's just this massive momentum. And we, it's this feeling that we can't mess it up. You know, the ego is always trying to tell us every moment of every day that we're messing it all up. And this feeling is that we can't really mess it up. Just like these new gadgets, the GPS's, you know, you they just never condemn you. And, you know, it's kind of cool you're driving along and then you've obviously taken what seems to be a wrong turn. And there's no condemnation. It's just like recalculates. <laughs> you know, it's like never, you're never, you never get anything, go, you know you're not going to finish the book, you'll never sing, it's like, turn left, or make a U-turn at the next, you know, exit or something, you know, it's like always giving us, it's almost like we, we can't make a mistake, it's always giving us, and there's no harsh condemning tones, like, turn left, you know, almost like, you know, with humans, <laughs> like, You've got your spouse in the in the car with you, and it's like, go on, turn left at the next, you know, because the tone is even that you've done something wrong. You know, you've got to get back to the Magoo mind. That's what this GPS is doing. It's reflecting the Magoo mind. It's that you can't make a mistake, ever. It just always gives you the next best option. You know, in 1.2 miles, turn around. Okay, let's enjoy this. 1.2 miles, you know, it's like there's not, you're not going to be beating yourself up on the next 1.2 miles, just happily turn, crank the music up and let's have a party here for that. Because it's not saying you've gone wrong. And really, that's kind of the way the Holy Spirit works too, it's, it's just this, these reminders, it's like these gentle reminders, these pep talks, these, these I love you's coming in all the time. You know, like in Valentine's Day, all the little candy hearts with I love you's everywhere. That's just what the Holy Spirit is. But there's never any condemnation. There's never any criticism. And it's just opening to that. 
and getting softer with that and feeling more relaxed with that, that then allows us to actually tune in to it in a more clear way, in a more precise way. It's so gentle. And, and I do feel like the more that you work with this and the more that you practice, that's just, it just becomes more and more and more gentle. You know, like he says, when you have learned how to decide with God, it will be as if you are being carried down a quiet path in summer. Wow. Carried down a quiet path in summer. I, I can go for that 